Prayer to break every evil chain holding you back. Evil chains are satanic tools or approaches to keep people stagnant and stagnated, and even in some cases retrogressive and degenerative. And until there is a divine intervention either by God's vengeance and judgment against the enemies, which usually comes through the application of kingdom mysteries like deliverance, warfare prayers or the weapon of faith. The Bible says we can quench all the fiery darts of the enemy the devil. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 16 says, Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. Until those are done, the enemy the devil is likely to persist in his wickedness and his limitations of God's people. He uses devices denoted with diverse names to cage destinies. They can be called or referred to as spells, curses, bad luck, accidents, misfortunes or what have you. These are basically evil schemes of the devil, his demons and their collaborators or conspirators to kill, steal, destroy or delay destinies. In John chapter 10 verse 10 the Bible says, The thief cometh not, but for to steal, and to kill, and to destroy, I am come that they might have life, and that they might have it more abundantly. When these evil chains are broken and removed, all of a sudden we see everything beginning to turn around and fall in place for the person hitherto caged. And that is going to be the experience of every one of my listeners under any form of chains or limitations of any form as we go into prayers now. In the name of Jesus Christ, that chain of marital delays shall be broken. The chain of difficulty and hardship shall be routed and rolled away. The chain of rejections and depression shall be shattered and destroyed. The chain of near success syndrome and chain of one step forward and two steps backward shall be humiliated and terminated. In the name of Jesus Christ, let us pray. Pray along with me as I pray. But before then, are you new here? Please don't forget to subscribe to our prayer channel. Subscription link in the description box. God bless you. All right, now let us pray. Our Father and our God. With a heart full of gratitude and praises, I come to you this hour. Thank you for the gift of life and the sustenance of life. Thank you more especially for the gift of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, whom you sent to rescue us from the chains and bondages of the devil. Lord, indeed, I am most grateful and delighted. Dear Father Lord, now that you have sent your Son my Lord Jesus Christ, and he has been manifested, even as your word says in 1 John chapter 3 verse 8, that the purpose of his manifestation was to destroy the works of the devil. 1 John chapter 3 verse 8, He that committeth sin is of the devil, for the devil sinneth from the beginning. For this purpose the Son of God was manifested, that he might destroy the works of the devil. Therefore Father, by the truth and authority of your infallible word, let every work of the devil in my life be crumbled, rooted out and destroyed, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. For your word says, as written in Philippians chapter 2 verses 9 to 11. Wherefore God also hath highly exalted him, and given him a name which is above every name. That at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, of things in heaven, and things in earth, and things under the earth. And that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. Therefore Father Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, let every siege or chain of marital delay, rising and falling, business failure, misfortunes, sicknesses and diseases, anger and depression, lack of care and love, shame and reproaches, lack and want, all manners of hardship, be destroyed and stamped out of my life. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, the name above every other name. I command every agent of shame, misery, poverty and lack, sicknesses and diseases, to bow out of my life and be gone forever. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Every chain of sin, indiscipline, faithlessness and incontinence, be broken and destroyed out of my life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you Heavenly Father for answer. For in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Now I pray for you. Everlasting Father King of Glory. Thank you for your continuous answer to my prayers, which is in accordance with your word of 1 John chapter 5 verse 14, which says, 
And this is the confidence that we have in him, that, if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. Therefore dear Father Lord, I come unto you still, for these my brethren who the enemies have bruised. Father Lord, I ask for their instant healing and restoration of whatever the enemies have damaged and destroyed in their lives, families and businesses. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord let there be a reversal of their woes and every evil misfortune that the enemy the devil has brought upon them. In the name of Jesus Christ. Dear Father Lord, let every act of the devil in their lives be routed, destroyed and terminated now. In the name of Jesus Christ. For your word says in John chapter 8 verse 36. If the Son therefore shall make you free, ye shall be free indeed. Therefore dear Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, by the accorded right of sonship bequeathed on me through my faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, I set free all my listeners here. Free from every demonic imposed bondage and chains. Free from every form of slavery and servitude. Free from suicidal feelings and feelings of hopelessness. In the mighty name of Jesus the Christ. Lord, I decree and ask for them after the order of your word of Isaiah chapter 45 verses 1 through 3. Father Lord, send your angels to go before every listener here and now. To subdue the enemies before them and to lose them of every evil chain and lock being used against them by the enemy the devil. In the mighty name of Jesus. Open before them dear Lord the two leave gates, and the gates that shall not be shut against them again. In the mighty name of Jesus. Go before them Lord, and make the crooked places straight, and break in pieces the gates of brass, and cut and sunder the bars of irons on their ways to progress and prosperity. In the mighty name of Jesus the Christ. Give them the treasures of darkness, and hidden riches of secret places, that they mayest know that you the Lord, which call them is the God of Israel. In Jesus' name. Lord, restore to them all they have lost due to the activities of the enemy, the devil. As you promised in Joel chapter 2 verses 25 through 27 saying, And I will restore to you the years that the locust hath eaten, the cankerworm, and the caterpillar, and the palmer worm, my great army which I sent among you. And ye shall eat in plenty, and be satisfied, and praise the name of the Lord your God, that hath dealt wondrously with you, and my people shall never be ashamed. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, and that I am the Lord your God, and none else, and my people shall never be ashamed. Lord, restore unto my listeners, their dignities, honor, peace, joy and every good thing of life that the enemy the devil has denied and deprived them of. In the name of Jesus Christ, for their shames and losses, Lord, I ask that you give each of them double of all that they have desired but were denied and deprived of. In the name of Jesus Christ, let everything that has been slowing down their progress or that has been drawing them back be shattered and broken now. In the name of Jesus Christ, thank you Father Lord for answering me, for with thanksgiving I pray in the name of Jesus the Christ. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us in this prayer, we appreciate it. Kindly give us a thumbs up to like this video. It will help the video to reach more people. Also, our team will appreciate it if you could share this video with your friends on social media. Are you new here? Subscribe, and leave the notification button on so that you will be notified whenever we release a new video. God bless you.